All right, so I'd like to make this video to analyze the new trailer that was just released. I don't think there's enough info here for me to make a subtitled one. I'll just go through it and make an analysis. 27, 2007. It's talking about how during the time of video games where everything was 3D, they released, we made a challenge to make a 2D Odin Sphere game. We were determined to make Odin Sphere in in the game scene of 3D games. <clears throat> 2013. In 2013, we challenged ourselves to reflourish the once prospering genre in Dragon's Crown. And then, in 2019, the new challenge for Atlas and Vanillaware is to make a classical science fiction, is to make a story set in a classical science fiction world. And then it goes through all the previous stuff. Jiro says he feels like there's something wrong about his life. And Iori is wondering how she's feeling this way about <laughs> how she's falling in love in at first sight. And Amiguchi Shu is having weird dreams every night, just like the other characters. Minami makes a friend with a texture real. This is just stuff from the prologue. Alright, so here, there's something weird about it. Um, so they're in a ship, and whenever they're in a ship, they they don't have clothes, but, uh... But in the very second trailer, you see her <laughs> without clothes. I mean, it's very different. Is there some censorship going on? I mean, yeah. It's gonna make the game sell a lot less if there's some censorship. I guess that's Sony for you. Anyways, let me see what they're saying here. But Amiguchi Shu's talking here. He says, The mothership's database... Nara Atas. It was in the ship's data... In the mothership's database. So here we're seeing a battle scene. Uh... Right here is uh, the ta... The name of the town it's um uh, i guess everything all the sections so you see these squares it's kind of like a tactical rpg where you move one square at a time and i guess all the all the squares in the field are separated by blocks like street names oh yeah in japan they don't have like street names they have blocks i don't know how they get around but <laughs> that's how it is in japan so I guess that's how all the... Uh, I don't know what it's called in chess, like... All the sections in the field you can move to. Okay, let's analyze this. So there's a defense team. I guess you could have like a party, like an RPG party, and then I guess they have these guys. And then there's HP stats. G4, G1. Oh, there's... So G1 and G4, these are the separate numbers of the generations of... Sentinels, I think. Here we have the menu. Udebu Parasu Deza. So right here we have Arm Part Pulse Laser. And it uses 0 EP. Here we have Multi Rocket Missile. A 150 EP. Second one, I mean third one is Shield Matrix. Um, Frot Mine. Frot Mine. I think this is some sort of mine. Inta Interceptor. Power 70 by 20. So Amiguchi is here. I don't know what power 7 by 20 means. Wait 4 seconds. Armor. Penetration. 
Zenko no ite hani ni. Oh, so right here. It's pulse laser is selected and it's telling me and it's saying what kind of power it has. 70 times 20. So it does 70 damage 20 times. And wait time is 40 seconds. So it's going to be a real time strategy. Uh, in your forward direction, you use both arms. You launch beams from both arms into your forward, facing forward. It attacks kaiju times four. Level one times four. Meta gauge. So yeah, there's a lot going on in the battle scene. Oh yeah, and you see the sentinel's arms light up. So it shows you what part that the move is going to use. Wait, so that's the mothership right here floating there? Yeah, there's like wings. Huh. And then you see the radar. And this is just back to the story. Hang on, let me... Eh, whatever. Here we see like some sort of special attack, maybe? There's not much to see here, I guess. But like, it's attacking like several blocks. And all these numbers. <laughs> I don't see what uploading means. Is that like a time mission? Wave for radar map. So there's going to be waves. Man, I bet this game's gonna be so hard. I don't, I don't like real time. I wish it was more like you had time to like choose your moves. But I mean, it looks pretty good. Oh, and here we see some kanji it says destroyed. It's like a couple blocks are destroyed by the enemy. And I guess maybe you have to like protect them. And wow, that's a lot of numbers. Are these all enemies or? It looks like, I mean, wow. I mean, it says there's no, like, indicators. Just going to their voice actors. God, this music is amazing. And then they're going to show some. So, if you order, if you pre-order, you get digital artworks of all 13 um, protagonists if you order before it comes out. There's image boards too about the story, like storyboards I think. Uh, and there are some charming illustrations. Where you, oh, it's digital artwork, so it's you can see them on the PS4. It's going to be uh, in the normal version and in the limited edition. It'll be a download code. Okay. Okay, and here we go. There's a premium box, which I really want to get. There's going to be secret files. 132 pages, Jesus. Gazoa image desu. Jisai no seihin to wa kotonagimasu. Uh, it says it might be different than what we see. Uh, Pax, paper craft. Oh, it's going to be a model kit. Nice for paper craft. <laughs> Whimsy. Oh, and the new. It's going to be a new, uh, new artwork for the title. Not title. Box art. All right. So now I want to go to the website. Should be here. There's a lot of new stuff. Yeah, here's the new artwork. It looks very Persona-ish. <laughs> uh, 
going to be on say 11.8. There's, there's a, it says it's a th story of 13 boys and girls overcoming past, future, and time. Kinkyu Soku. Oh, it says breaking news. There's a meteor falling. It says they board the sentinels and they fight. Oh, whoa, this is new. Head back together with Minami while you still can. It says these are the 13 players. There's going to be a Kokai head. I think this is a, it says like crumbling part and then also head and uh, recollection part and investigation part. There's going to be, you'll go through the story through three parts. Recollection is uh, about the story. Um, collapse part is about the fighting and the investigation part is uh, delving deeper into the story. Mitsu no pato sumeruto. Going through the three parts will you'll enjoy the the vast world of thirteen sentinels. Each thirteen characters have a mystery that they need to that they need to uh, f uh, solve. In the investigation part, akiraka ni natta shinjitsu wo furi kaeri shinso kaimei se yo. In in the investigation part, you look back through all the truths that you have uncovered, and and solve the mystery. <clears throat> says you'll be able to go through you'll be able to understand the very detailed and sculptured story in the archives you'll be able to rewatch event scenes and replay them nazo ni machita monogatari wo fusukatte yomikaishi you can take a bird's eye view at the story full of mysteries and make uh, and make and make your own conclusion there you'll go through battles with the sentinel and stand up against the dangers of the world there are there's a close quarter kinsetsu uh, white Knight. Uh, there's long range and aerial attacks. All right, aerial mode. So there's four types of sentinels. There's a close quarter paladin, I think. Unsheathed sword. What? Hakue. <laughs> I never heard that word before. Maybe in shogi. I don't know. You fight against kaiju. In a very, a very pleasant simulation battle. There's gonna be artwork. It's gonna be oh my god, ninety, almost ninety thousand yen. That's like ninety dollars. Hundred and forty dollars, hundred and fifty dollars for the limited edition. Jesus. Oh, right here, this one. So it's Battle, Adventure, and Archives. Hamiguchi. There's going to be three parts to the game. I wonder how much we've seen already. Anyways, I guess that's about it. It says I can't pre-order yet. Alright, well thanks for watching. I hope you're excited as I am.